Hey everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Lordran. This should be fun. We are getting started in episode 2 and the oh yeah, this is one thing. I realized what might have been the issue with this bonfire placement. It's that this happens you immediately get ambushed by enemies. Which means I have to rest again, which means the enemy is going to respawn. So yeah, this bonfire placement was maybe not the best idea in the world. Can I? No, I cannot. Fuck. I really was hoping I was going to glitch him through the environment. And I don't know why I'm not using my shield. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you because if there was ever a use for this shield it's this area oh fucking hell I still don't know if that's meant to happen them like glitching it not not even glitching out because it might not be a glitch oh fuck okay things are hella chaotic right about now this dude's just drop some fucking throwing knives. Unfortunately, they're not called something weird. They're just throwing knives instead of some... Shit. You know what I mean. Something weird. But the question is... And I'm genuinely wondering where the fuck I need to go. Because I have no idea. And I didn't check the time. Okay. It's like 8.30 exactly, and I just got caught in my headphone wires. Yeah. Oh, shit. Polished key. Which I feel like I can use. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I think there's a gargoyle here. Oh, no, it's not a gargoyle. It's a... It's not a tower knight. Whatever. Oh, still got the parry, and that is why they call me the parry god. They don't call me the parry god, but... No, shit. This is a... This is an unfortunate enemy placement, to say the least. Because I can't, like, get through his crotch. Oh, n Pringy! You have got to be shitting me. I'm fucking facing Pringy. And this dude just straight up crushed. I need to go through the backside. The other way. Question is, can I use... No. What is the key for then? Yeah, I think I need to come through the other way because... No, you don't want to. I'm not one to go for the easy option. I'm going to th struggle through these assholes. Um, am I stoned? Am I stoned or did this guy just straight up not have a hitbox? This is the worst. Like, this is... The worst enemy placement. That guy sure as hell did have a hitbox. Fuck. Alright. I wonder if the bosses are randomized too. We'll find out very soon. Maybe I should just... What I talked about before... Why don't I just use my shield? Oh, fuck. And this is one of these slow, fast motherfuckers, too. He is. Oh, I got through. Kill him. No, it's Pringy again. Alright, Pringy. I kind of had a feeling. I was like, they're going to do the slowdown bullshit, right? 
Oh, have I got a solution for that? I love that animation. When you get hit by one of these big bosses. Okay. He's taking about the same amount of damage. God, this is... This is uncomfortable, to say the least. When you've fought this boss like a thousand times and you're so used to his timings for them to like switch up the timings. It's kind of a dick move. Kind of a dick move, not gonna lie. I mean, I get it. Luckily, the boy has the long sword. All right, it's fairly easy. Although this is the equivalent of Monstro, if we are going all by Binding of Isaac. Breaker, <laughs> Guargoyle, hell yeah! I love Guargoyle. So my question is, what happens now? Because this is like where you would go and move on to a new floor if you were playing Isaac. Boss Brown Demon Pike, it's my favorite. I kind of want to use this weapon. I want to go for like a heavy sword. I don't know why. I'm not sure how weapons work. Oh, hello. There's 14 fire arrows, okay. Oh yeah, and I did not like fully go through the... Uh, oh shit, are you serious? Can he do anything? I'm pro protected, right? You have got to be shitting me. Could I have screwed up any more with this bonfire placement? Alright, whatever. Whatever, this is an easy enough enemy. Because I want to check what's up. Here, trade souls for modes. Increase vitality, increase attunement, increase endure. So if I buy like three of these, is it like a temporary thing or is that now permanent? I should switch to my axe to check it out. I mean I can check it out because I don't remember what kind of damage it dealt. Whatever. Shit, but the issue is, I like legit have no clue where to go. Hmm. I think. No, wait, no, I don't think. I don't ever think. Because going back to Shrine, Firelink, I mean, is out of the question. I still love this guy's, like, fucking pink candy that he's using as a weapon. But maybe this way there's something. Back up here. I should have read the instructions. Actually, there were no instructions, but... Maybe Lobos. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Dragon, can you do your thing without me getting caught in it somehow? Hmm. 
Did I just dodge extremely quickly there? Or was that just like a weird animation thing? I wonder if this guy still behaves the same way. I'm assuming he does. Yup. And I assume you can still kill him. Not gonna because I can't be bothered. Oh, wait a second. I just realized you moved the bonfire with you. I thought that was like a one time item to spawn a bonfire. Thank you. Instead, you take the bonfire with you. That fire looks pretty good. Up close like that. Shit. What do you do? I'm a tiny, tiny bit lost. Uh, so, this is a stupid idea. But I can go this way. Eat shit, bitches. If there's nothing else, I can go... Back to Firelink, I think, from the bonfire. If nothing else. That was my last resort. My last kind of brilliant idea. And it worked. But the only question is, how do I now get to my souls? Because you know they hella on the other side. Alright. We're back in business, boys. <laughs> okay. That burp is awesome. Couldn't have done it better myself. Because this guy is gonna fucking flame me. Oh, and it's all the way there. Maybe he's not gonna... He's not doing jack shit. Hold on. Gonna have to bear with me just a little bit longer because... I'd prefer not to lose whatever the amount of souls it is that I have on my body there. Listen, it's early days. This is... We are still... Getting the lay of the land with this mod, you know. Listen, by episode 15, things are gonna go hella smooth. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is just... We'll do a grab and go, as they say. Is he gonna... Oh, fuck. Okay, that somehow doesn't deal that much damage. And what I'm gonna do is, we will run down here. I'm curious whether this is like tied to anything. Oh shit, okay. So there has to be some sort of like one use per level or something like that. Interesting. Which means I probably fucked myself because that is like not a good bonfire placement that I had there. You should have just put it where they originally had it in the game. You know. Those bonfire like places are there for a reason because they kind of make sense. Alright, whatever. It's all good. Sorry, just keeping keeping an eye on time because I, I don't know why. Oh man, do they like these enemies or what? I kind of don't like these enemies. Especially with the weird timing. It's like impossible to dodge. Yeah. It's interesting that they deal some sort of chip damage. 
because I'm pretty sure these... Oh, fuck off. Oh, and it stun locks too. I mean... Let's just consider my chances of dying. Um, I think they are a little bit high. Thanks for the Titanite. Any NPCs? Apparently you do have NPCs in this game and you can rescue them like normal. Uh, the question is just what's up with them, you know? Beat Abyss Talisman, Sway Hearthstone, man, please give me more items. Wind Cry Talisman, too bad, so sad. Just like a dramatic door opening, it's like a Disney attraction. It opens, but nothing is on the other side. I keep jumping. Oh yeah, because I'm using that controller. Fuck. Knisel, <laughs> hold. Hey, Knisel, come over here. Oh shit. That was a near miss. Almost got shot. I really need to like figure out some way to heal because this is this is ridiculous. But I have nothing. If I get poisoned now, I'm so fucked. I shouldn't have come in here. Why, why did I come in here? If this was a boss, I'd be up Shit's Creek, as they say. Oh, fuck. This is not a good combination of enemies. Unless they got themselves stuck, which means that... Hey, could you share one of those with me? This is the ultimate no hit binding of Lord and challenge. And of course they gotta put a fire guy there. I'm just gonna go quickly. Hell yeah. Now at this point I Okay. I guess we're departing. Level two. It doesn't it doesn't give you anything. Oh no. As in it doesn't give you back your shit. Which is shit. However, please tell me. Yes. I had to. I had to do it. Isn't it interesting? I'm like wondering how the programming works behind this. Oh, it's Boon is lost upon returning to Firelink. Shit. Okay. Interesting. And I assume the rules around... Yeah. I think I've tested this before, right? The rules around, like, item weights and all that still applies. Okay, I need two more strength modes. And we are gonna get, f like, I guess two modes of vitality. I feel like I need more vitality. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Is it 25? 
Oh fuck, because I, I didn't pop it. Gotta use it, boy. So I'm getting the hang of this, don't worry. Slowly but surely. Hell yeah. Now, I would really like to... I would really like to fast roll. Full naked? Not even full naked. Okay, then we might as well just put all our shit back on. Listen, if we're gonna mid roll, we might as well mid roll in style. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Hell yeah. Listen, I... The ways of mid-rolling are not unknown to me, don't worry. Hell yeah. You wanna see ladder PvP? What? It has the... Dagger... That's randomized as well? Holy shit. This is this is the best weapon I've ever had, which also means that this, yeah, this has the greatsword move set. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, you can still only use this to cast spells. It doesn't have like some crazy energy blast attack. And this game is fucking, it's fucking insane. I didn't know it was mixed to this extent, you know. But it's the axe move set for the. I mean, it deals hella damage. Which probably means I locked out on getting it. Oh, yeah? Wanna play like that? Play like this, bitch. I think I, I think I may have hit the jackpot. All I need to get is like a shit ton of endurance so that I can eventually get to being able to fast roll with this. This is crazy. Sorry. Time check again. I'm gonna be keeping these around half an hour as always. Whoa. It was like a weird screen tear there. But I can definitely see that some enemies are... Am I getting... I am. Man, talk about awareness of your surroundings, right? Um, I can see that in general... It's Havel the Rock. Havel has been rescued. Havel is a friend in this one. Fuck. Yeah. That's all I wanted to hear for today. Because I was like, damn, I'm going to have to fight Havel. I was going to say, to get to my final point, can I... Thank you. It seems like they're just like in Isaac. Holy shit, this weapon deals a lot of damage. Like, there's a core set of enemies that is set for a level. Like, we still have mostly the... The rats, the we... I hate this walkway. The rats, the weird, um... Jumpy enemies, the to po poison dart dudes. I tried to say poison and toxic at the same time. The toy sick. Yeah, the toy sick dart. Oh, and this is the dead end. I'm stupid. Just like how in Isaac, every floor has a certain set group of enemies, but you can also have like special enemies on top of that. I think that how it work. That that how it work. Nice. English. Stonks. 
Um, at least that's my interpretation. As a professional game designer, I happen to know. Um, fuck. I don't like that they have these things scattered around here. I hate these skeleton enemies. Although this just straight up like one shots everything. So far, there ain't been much that this thing hasn't one shot. And we have Rojo Phantoms. Which we've had before, but damn. Like, did I just seriously lock out with an excellent weapon, or is this just not that difficult? Listen, I might be speaking too early. I'm fully gonna admit that. And I'll take it back if this game decides to just teach me a lesson. Oh, fuck, I never know where to drop. Right here. Oh, fuck. It does piercing damage now. What? Let me just check that out in just a bit. Question is, did I just come back? Yes, I did. In today's episode, Mr. Sketchhead tries navigating Blight Town. Believe me, he does not succeed. This weapon with this move set is hella funny. No wonder, like people were saying, they were, they were like, "Don't you dare go online." with this mod, because you are going to get banned so quickly that your head's going to be spinning. And I was like, huh, okay, I wonder why. I get it now. I fully understand, because if you went online with these kind of weapons, that would be rough for everyone else but you. I'd love to have the stats of the Stone Greatsword with the moves of a dagger. I still haven't managed to check out the... Oh, another one. This seems to be a common drop. The boss, boon, demon, whatever. Okay, can I just catch a break? Uh, we have an enhanced ember with... One of the ancient smithing embers, use it to imbue a weapon with a sorcerer's hunger that modestly increases magic damage and recharges spell when, when enemies are struck. Interesting. Not that good for me. Because this is... We're going physical, baby. Um. Oh yeah, that's the fake ladder. I was like, there's a ladder here, but then I put it together. I'm going to eventually try and use my bonfire. If I didn't like waste my use, I'm assuming you wouldn't waste your use. I'm really hoping, honestly, that's more of a way to put it. I think two bonfire placements per level would be fair. If I was a mod maker, that's how I would program it. But listen, I ain't the mod maker. There's such a strange lack of enemies here. Certainly makes Blight Town easier, that's for fucking sure. Oh, 
Ooh, yeah, I was like. That's gonna be one screw over, right? Alright then. Time for an experiment. First of all, we have Black Phantom Rat, which I never thought I'd see. It's the rat with the punk hair too. Man, I'm trying to put down my... Or attempt to put down my bonfire and these dudes keep getting in the way. I mean... I guess this is still the best place to put it, uh, when you think about it. Please work. Oh, fuck. Alright then, game. I see how you play your cards. I see how you play your cards. Well, that means that this is going to be an interesting rest of the area. Um, still, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. That's crazy. And I cannot hit this thing. Okay, there we go. Hmm, future looks interesting. Um, I guess it's playing the Binding of Isaac card fair and square, right? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Binding of Lordran. Now that I've got the hang of this game, I'm gonna be like all over this. And I'm gonna be very careful with how I place my bonfires from now on, that's for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed as I get endlessly assaulted by these mosquitoes, which I guess is how mosquitoes work in real life. If you did enjoy this second episode as well, as always, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Really helps out, especially with second episodes, because there usually is a drop with the number of comments and likes. So make sure to like, comment, turn on post notifications as always, and peace out. I always do this. Why do I always do the salute? It's so stupid. Bye. See you.